Hey, Ben from More 4x4 here. Just want to give a bit of a rundown on why you go for one of these Safari arm axes, all right? So, basically, you've got a few things, right? You've got this massive, massive intake. Obviously, it varies in size a bit here. Right, starting from under here. Let's see if we can get some good, good views. See that, that intake there? 100 mil intake all the way through. There's braces. You cut the cut the the guard out here, and there's a brace on the inside. Come around here. So there's a nice brace. I'll try to get in there. A lot. So we don't have any guard cracking issues. I don't know if you can quite see that down in there. There's a brace down in there. Okay. So uh, so that guard is going to be really well supported. Right, so that runs right through there. So the factory factory intake runs this tiny little thing. I'll just go go get that now. So this runs runs through their factory, right? That's not the ultimately limiting thing, even though it's smaller than what this is. You've then you've then got it going through this. This is only 60 mil, right? So another part of the mod is cutting cutting the intake out. So that's now 90 mil down there. So in the in the airbox. So that is now a 90 mil truly going into the airbox, right? So when you're checking these snorkels out, whether you're going stainless or anything, you've got this massive snorkel going through 100 mil all the way through. Essentially, the smallest smallest part is 90 through to the airbox and then obviously that's similar to same as everything else there so got to be careful all these other snorkels they might look fancy on the outside but ultimately it's not going to change anything so i hope this helped hope this adds value to someone that is trying to pick a snorkel